Hi, my name is DJ Kepsi Richie and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, our discussion on indices will be equation involving indices. Last, we started the equation involving indices. And we said that when we talk of equation involving indices, they include linear equations, simultaneous equations, and quadratic equations. Last, we look at the linear and the quadratic equation. Today, before the video ends, our attention will be based on the simultaneous equation. And if there is time, we look at other form of equations involving indices. This will be a very interesting engagement. So please, take a seat. Okay, so we start to use of the simultaneous equation involving indices. On top of simultaneous equation, it's when two equations, two or more equations are given to you for you to solve that equations at a time. You solve that two equations or two or, that two or more equations at a time. For example, they say x plus y equals to negative 3. Our first equation. Then x minus y equals to 9. Our second equation. Then we are asked to solve this equation simultaneously. How do we solve that? So we have three ways of solving this simultaneous equation. That's three fundamental ways. By elimination, by substitution, then by graphical method. So, you determine which of the method is appropriate for you to use. So, I want to use elimination. In the sense that the coefficient here is 1, the coefficient here is also 1. So, if I add the two equations, since this is positive and this is negative, I will eliminate the y. So, I'll add my equation 1 to equation 2. So, I'll say equation 1 plus 2. x plus s will give me 2x y plus negative 5 will be 0. Then negative 3 plus 9 will be 6. So I've eliminated the y. I'll divide both sides by 2 to find my s. s is all right. Now substitute x equal to 3 into any of the equation 1 or 2 to get a value of y. So I'll substitute into equation 1. So x plus y is actually equal to negative 3. In place of s, I'll put 3. 3 plus y equal to negative 3. So y will be equal to negative 3 minus 3. So y will be equal to negative 6. So we can say that our s is equal to 3 and y equal to negative 6. So if an indice is given to you, two indices for you to solve simultaneously, your taxes reduce the indices to become a simple linear simultaneous equations of this nature. Then, you find the values of the two unknown. Then with that, you can find what is needed in the two variables. This will be a very interesting engagement. So please, watch the video till the end. Now we'll take some sample questions and find solutions to them. So, let's solve our first question. On this. Given that 3 exponent x plus 1 is equal to 27 exponent y minus 1. And 1 over 3 exponent 2x is equal to 1 over 9 exponent y plus 2. Find the value of x and y. So, you see, two equations are given to you with two unknown variables in an indices form for you to find the value of the unknowns. So, this is how we solve. So, we take the first equation 3 exponent x plus 1 will be equal to 27 exponent y minus 1. So remember when we're learning linear equation involving indices. So our task is that we make the two sides of the equation to have the same base. The base here is 3. So we have to make this base to also, uh, this uh, part to also have a base of 3. So we have 3 exponent x plus 1. We we'll equal to 27 is 3 exponent 3. So 3 exponent 3 and then our y minus 1. We can expand this. We have 3 exponent x plus 1 equal to 3 exponent 3y minus 3, if I expand. So since the basis are the same, we can include the exponent. So we can say x plus 1 equal to 3y minus 3. I can group like things by bringing all the variables to one side. So I have x minus 3y equal to negative 3 minus 1. So x minus 3y will be equal to negative 4. This will be our existing one. Now we take this one to reduce this into this linear e equation, then we try to solve the two simultaneously. So 
to have 1 over 3 exponent 2s equal to 1 over 9 exponent y plus 2. So our task is to make the two sides have the same base. So this, remember this is 1 over 3 exponent 1. To rewrite it using the property, we have 3 exponent negative 1 times our 2s will be equal to 3 exponent 2 is 9. So I can rewrite this as 3 exponent negative 2 using the property of indices. So now what do I do? I will expand, I will solve this. This will be negative 2s and to be equal to, I will expand this one. This will be 3 exponent negative 2y minus 4. Now the basis are the same. I will put the exponent. I say negative 2y and negative 2s will equal to negative 2y minus 4. Bring all the variables our negative 2s minus 2y equal to uh, plus 2y will be equal to negative 4 our equation 2. So now I'll solve equation 1 and equation 2 simultaneously. So we have these are our two equations. We try to solve them simultaneously. I'll solve this by eliminating. So I'll make the coefficient here to be 2. So if I will just multiply this equation by 1. So I'll say my, by 2. I'll say equation 1 times 2. So 2 times this will be 2x. 2 times negative 3 will negative 6. Then y equal to negative 8. My equation 3. And I have equation 2 to be negative 2x plus 2y equal to negative 4. My equation 2. Now the coefficients are the same. I can just add them. If I add negative 2 to 2, I'll get 0. So I'll say my equation 3 plus equation 2. So 2x plus negative 2s will be 0. Negative 6y plus 2y will be negative 4y. And to be equal to negative 8 plus negative 4 will be negative 12. I'll divide both sides by the coefficient. So my y will be equal to 3. So knowing the value of y, I will just substitute into any of the equations to get the value of x. So I can say my s, s minus 3y equal to negative 4. So s minus 3, in place of y, I will substitute 3 equal to negative 4. s minus 9 equal to 3 times 3 is 9. So s will be equal to negative 4 plus 9. So s will be equal to 5. So we can say our s is equal to 5 and our y is equal to 3. That becomes the value of s and the value of y. I hope you get that. Please play over the video and I know you get a call. We'll solve one more or we'll solve some more sample questions for you to get a concept. So we'll solve our second question. We say find the value of x and y if 4 exponent 2s plus y equal to 1 over 256 and 2 exponent s uh, times this dot means times times 4 exponent y is equal to 8. So our task is that just make the two sides of the equation have the same base. As far as they have the same base, you equate the exponent. So the first one, I have 4 exponent 2s plus y and it's equal to 1 over 256. I have 4 exponent 2s plus y will be equal to 256 is 4 exponent 4. 4 times 4 times 4 times 4 is 256. So we can have 4 exponent 2s plus y and to be equal to 4 exponent negative 4 using the laws and uh, the properties. So since the basis are the same, we can equate the exponent. You can say 2s plus y equal to negative 4. So we take the second one too. We have 2 exponent s times 4 exponent y equal to 8. So 2 exponent s times, we can, we can change this to have a base of 2. Now we can 2 exponent 2 is 4. So 2 exponent 2y. Two then 8 is 2 exponent 3. So since they are multiplying, remember the law of indices. If two indices are multiplying with the same base, we repeat one of the base and add the exponent. So you can write this as 2 exponent x 
plus 2y equal to 2 exponent 3. So since the basis are the same, we equate the exponent. You can say x plus 2y equal to 3. So having our x plus 2y equal to 3 as our equation 2, and this as equation 1, we can solve these two equations simultaneously to get the value of x and y. So we we'll solve the two equations simultaneously. Now I want to solve again by elimination. I want to so you have to check the coefficient. I want to eliminate the s. The coefficient here is one, so I have to make it two. I'll multiply equation two by two. So I'll say equation two times two. So two times s will be two x. Two times two y will be plus four y. Then two times three will be six. This will be equation three. And I have 2x plus y equal to negative 4 as my equation 1. Why do I do? I can eliminate, I can subtract this equation from this to eliminate x. So I'll say equation 3 minus equation 1. This from this will be 0. This from this, 4y minus y will be 3y. And to be equal to 6 minus negative 4. Look at it. 6 minus negative 4 that will be equal to 10. I hope you get that. So we can say this is 10. So we divide both sides by 3. Our y will be equal to 10 out of 3. We substitute the value of y into any of the equations to find the value of x. So I want to substitute into equation 2. x plus 2y equal to 3. I know the value of y to be 10 out of 3. So 10 out of 3 equal to 3. So s will be equal to x. s plus this will be 20 out of 3 equal to 3. I'll make s the subject. s will be equal to 3 minus 20 out of 3. Why do I do? I'll find the OCM. The OCM here will be 3. So we have 3. 1 will go into, or 3 will be, 3 divided by 1 is 3 times 3 will be 9. 3 divided by 3 is 1 times 20 will be 20. So this will be negative 11 out of 3. So we can conclude that x is equal to negative 11 out of 3. And y is equal to 10 out of 3. I hope you get that. I hope you get that. We'll solve another example so that we'll be abreast with the concepts. So let's try to solve our third question. Alright, I said 2 exponent 2 plus x minus 3 exponent 2 plus y is equal to negative 11. And 2 exponent 1 plus s plus 3 exponent y equal to 11. Find the value of x and y. So we try to find solution to these two. Remember, is to reduce our equation, our uh, indices equation into a simple linear equation so that we solve it simultaneously. So, this, we can rewrite this. Look at this. The 2 exponent 2 plus x minus 3 exponent 2 plus y. We can rewrite this as 2 exponent 2 times 2 exponent x using the laws of indices. Say so that when two indices are multiplying with the same base, we just add the exponents. The same thing to this, we can rewrite this as 3 exponent 2 times 3 exponent y. Remember, this is equal to negative 11. So this will be equal to negative 11. So 2 exponent 2 is 4. We say 4, rather 2 exponent x minus 9, 2, uh, 3 exponent 2 is 9. So 9, 3 exponent y equal to negative 11. Now, let's reduce these two to look like this. So we have 2 exponent 1 plus x plus 3 exponent y equal to 11. So what do we have? We can rewrite this as 2 exponent 1 times 2 exponent x using the laws of indices plus 3 exponent y equal to 11. So we can have 2 exponent 2 times 2 exponent 1 is 2. So 2 times 2 exponent x plus 3 times 3 plus 3 exponent y equal to 11. So, 
you can realize that we have two exponents x here and three exponent one, uh, three exponent y. Then two exponent x here and three exponent y. They are common. So we can say let a to be equal to two exponent x and uh, b to be equal to three exponent y. Since both sides of the equation doesn't have the same base as the earlier ones. So now in place of 2 exponent x, we substitute a. And in place of 3 exponent y, we substitute b. So from this equation, you can get 4, 2 exponent x is a, so 4a minus 9. 3 exponent y is b, so 9b equal to negative 11. This will be our equation 1. Then this, we substitute a in place of this, we get 2a plus b will be equal to 11, equation 2. Now we solve these two equations simultaneously to find the value of a and b. So we solve the two equations simultaneously to get the value of uh, a and b. So you can solve this by any of the method, but I like to solve it by elimination. So I want to eliminate a, but the coefficient here are not the same. I need to make it the same. So I'll multiply this equation by 2 to make this place 4. So I'll set my equation 2 times 2. So 2 times 2a will be 4a, 2 times b will be 2b, and 2 times 11 will be 22. I have equation 3 there. Then my equation 1 is 4a minus 9b equal to negative 11. My equation 1. So I succeeded in making the coefficient of what I want to eliminate the same. What do I do? I'll subtract. So I'll say equation 3 minus equation 1. So 4a minus 4a will be 0. 2b minus 9b. That will be equal to 11bc. 2 minus negative 9. That will be 2 plus 9 equal to 11. So that will be equal to 11b equal to. Then 22 minus negative 11. See, 22 minus negative 11. That will be 22 plus 11. And that's 33. So I divide both sides by the coefficient of the variable to get my b. So 33 divided by 11 is nothing but 3. So our b is equal to 3. You can substitute b into any of the equations to get a value of a. So I'll substitute into equation 2, which is 2a plus b equal to 11. So I know my b to be 3. So 2a plus 3 is equal to 11. 2a will be equal to 11 minus 3. 2a will be equal to 11 minus 3 is 8. We divide both sides by 2. Then my a is equal to 4. So I know a to be 4 and b to be 3. But remember, there is no a and b in our initial equation given to us. The variables in the equations are s and y. So, but we know a to be 2 exponent x and we know b to be 3 exponent y. Keep that in mind. So, we know the value of a to be 4, the value of b to be 3. But a is 2 exponent x. So we can say 4. A is 4. So 4 is equal to 2 exponent x. Remember, we can solve this. This is linear. So we have to make the two sides of the equation have the same base. So 2 exponent 2 is 4. And we call it 2 exponent x. So since the bases are the same, we can equate the exponent. So we can say x is 2. The same way applies to this one. Our b is 3. So we can say 3 is equal to 3 exponent y. This 3 can be written as 3 exponent 1 in an index form and to be equal to 3 exponent y. The basis are the same. We can uh, equate the exponent. So y is equal to 1. You can see our s is 2 and our y is equal to 1. I hope, I hope you, get, you get this. You get this. I will solve one more example on this one so that you get a concept. So let's solve our fourth question. Say, Solve for x and y, given that 5 exponent x plus 2 minus 3 exponent 3 plus y equal to negative 7. And 5 exponent x plus 3 minus 2 exponent 4 plus y 
equal to 61. So we are going to find a value of x and y. Remember, always reduce the indices into a simple linear equation and try to solve it. So the first one, 5 exponent x plus 3 x plus 2 will be minus 2 exponent 3 plus y equal to negative 7. So remember, we can use the law 2 in. So since it's added, you can say 5 exponent x times 5 exponent 2 is this. Minus 2 exponent 3 times 2 exponent y will also be this. And to be equal to negative 7. So you can say 5 exponent s times 5 exponent 2 is 25. Minus 2 exponent 3 is 8 times 2y equal to negative 7. So I can rewrite this as 25 bracket 5 exponent s minus 8 bracket 2 exponent y equal to negative 7. So let's leave that here. Let's take the second one. Where we have 5 exponent s plus 3 minus 2 exponent 4 plus y equal to 61. How do we do? We apply the same principle. It's with 5 exponent s times 5 exponent 3 minus 2 exponent 4 times 2 exponent y equal to 61. So 5 exponent s, 5 exponent 3 is 125 minus 2 exponent 4 is 16 times 2 exponent y equal to 61. I can rewrite this as 125 5 exponent s minus 16 2 exponent y equal to 61. So, look at it. We have 5 exponent s, 5 exponent s, 2 exponent y, 2 exponent y. So, you let another variable to be equal to that. So, we say let 5 exponent s to be equal to any variable, let's say p, and 2 exponent y to be equal to q. So, in place of 5 exponent s, we substitute q, and in place of 2 exponent y, we substitute q. Then the resultant equation we solve it simultaneously. Okay, so we substitute the value of p and q into the place of 5 exponent s and 2 exponent y respectively. Then we solve our resultant equation simultaneously. So the first equation we'll get 25p minus 8q equal to negative 7. Still our equation 1. Then here we get 125 p minus 16 q equal to 61 our equation 2 so i want to solve this by eliminating again what do i do i can multiply this equation i know that 8 times 2 is 16 so i'll multiply this equation by 2 to eliminate the q so i'll say equation 1 times 2 so 2 times 25 will be 50 so that will be 50 p Minus 16 Q equal to 2 times negative 7 will be negative 14. My equation 3. And I have 125 P minus 16 Q equal to 61 as my equation 2. So I want to eliminate what do I do? I'll subtract this from this. 125 P minus 50 P. That will be 75 P. Negative 16q minus 16q will be 0. And to be equal to 61 minus 61 minus negative 14. That will be 61 minus negative 14 will be 61 plus 14. So 61 plus 14 will be 75. I hope you get that. So you can say this will be 75. We divide both sides by 75 to get our value of p, so our p will be equal to 1. Now we substitute p into any of these equations to get a value of q. So we know that 25p minus 8q equal to negative 7. So in place of p, I'll, put, I'll substitute 1. 25 times 1 minus 8q equal to negative 7. What do I have? 
I'll get 25 minus 8q equal to negative 7. Then I'll transpose negative 8q will be equal to negative 7 minus 25. So we can get our 8q equal to negative 7 minus negative 25. That will be 32. Negative 32. We divide both sides by negative 8. So our q, our q will be equal to 4. So my q is equal to 4. So I know the value of q and the value of p now. What do I do? I know that p is equal to 5 exponent s and q is equal to 2 exponent y also. So I'll start with you then there. Then I'll see what happens. So we know the value of p to be this and the value of q to be that. We substitute into their places. So 5 exponent s will be equal to 1. How do we make this to have a base of 5? Remember that one of the properties of this is you said any number exponent 0 is 1. So we can say 5 exponent s is equal to 5 exponent 0. So 5 exponent 0 will be 1. Since the bases are the same, we are free to equate the exponent. The same way to, to this one. 2 exponent y will be equal to our q is 4. 2 exponent y, this in an index form will be 2 exponent 2. The bases are the same. We are free to equate the exponent. We can say our s is 0 and our y is 2. I hope you get that. I hope you get that. The next thing we'll talk about is some equations which are non linear, neither are they, are they uh, quadratic or simultaneous. They involve substitution. So please come with me. Okay, before we continue. Please remember to subscribe to the YouTube channel and click on the notification bell. So anytime I post a video, you'll be the first to receive it. This is the kind of these things I'm talking about. It's a given that 2 exponent k is equal to s. Find the value, find 2 exponent k plus 1. How do we solve that? This is very simple. So remember, we can rewrite this. See, 2 exponent k plus 1 can be written as 2 exponent k times 2 exponent 1 using the laws of indices. If two indices are, are multiplying with the same base, you can just add the exponent. You can say 2 exponent k plus 1 will be equal to 2 exponent k times 2. 2 exponent 1 is 2. So 2 exponent k plus 1 will be equal to 2 into bracket 2 exponent k. So 2 exponent k plus 1 will be equal to, look at it. Our 2 exponent k is x. So we can substitute that. So in place of 2 exponent k, we put s here. So that will be equal to 2x. So we can say if 2 exponent k is equal to s, then 2 exponent k plus 1 will be equal to 2s. I hope you get that. We solve the second one. Look at it. Please pause the video and see if you can find solution to this one. We say if 2 exponent k minus 1 is equal to s, find a value of 2 exponent k. So, we can rewrite this as 2 exponent, so 2 exponent k minus 1 is equal to x. We can rewrite this as 2 exponent k times 2 exponent negative 1. Please, if you get that. Or, since they are subtracting, we can say 2 exponent k divided by 2 exponent 1. So, if two indices are dividing with the same base, we subtract the exponent, if you remember very well. And this will be equal to x. I can rewrite this as 2 exponent k divided by 2 and is equal to x. 2 exponent k over 2. I can rewrite 2 exponent k divided by 2 as 2 exponent k over 2 and is equal to x. How do I do? I can just multiply both sides by 2 to get my 2 exponent k. So this times 2, there times this times 2. So this will divide this 2 exponent k will be equal to 2x. So if 2 exponent k minus 1 is equal to s, then 2 exponent k is equal to 2s. I, I hope you get that. We we'll solve one more example on this so that you get the concept too. So try and see if you can find solutions to this one. Also, you can say if 3 exponent negative k is equal to m, find the value of 
3 exponent k plus 1. So how do we solve that? Look at it. 3 exponent negative k is equal to m. We can rewrite this using the property as 1 over 3 exponent k. If you remember very well, please check out my videos on introduction to indices. So we can say 1 over 3 exponent k is equal to m. I can find the value of 3 exponent k. So I can just cross multiply. While we will equal to m bracket 3 exponent k. And divide both sides by m. My 3 exponent k will be equal to 1 over m. Good. Now let me find the value of this. I know the value of 3 exponent k is equal to 1 over m. I will solve this. So 3 exponent k plus 1 can be written as 3 exponent k times 3 exponent 1. My 3 exponent k plus 1 can be called 3 exponent k. 3 exponent 1 is nothing but 3. My 3 exponent k plus 1 will be equal to 3 into bracket 3 exponent k. So, I know 3 exponent k to be 1 out of m. So I just have it. So my 3 exponent k plus 1 will be equal to 3 into bracket 1 over m. So when I multiply, my 3 exponent k plus 1 will be equal to 3 over m. I hope you get that. Please, we'll end it here. Uh, please remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the notification bell. And the next time we meet, we'll try to find solution to both objective and subjective questions in core mass and elective mass on indices. Until we meet again, my name is Tete J. Kepsi Richard. Bye-bye.